Today is July 7th, 2024. Camping up at Pally Place, up uh, just a little ways north of the bridge, Campsite 12. Never camped at this site as far as I can remember. I don't even think this was a site originally when I first started coming up here. I think this is a newer site the DEC actually created. But it's Campsite 12. It's just down the way from uh, Campsite 10, 9. 9 is the one I usually like to camp at, but that site was taken. Spent two nights here. Um, I did two nights at Campsite 5, which is, you know, closer to the, uh, uh, to the potholers. You know, Independence Day, I camped at, uh, at Campsite 5, and I spent all day down at the potholers. Smoked a lot of grass. Uh, I was pretty stoned, uh, especially on Independence Day, but it was a fun time. You know, uh, taking advantage of my legal rights now as a New Yorker. You know, um... I never really thought of myself as a pothead. I never really smoked before, but uh, you know, I spent 50 bucks uh, at uh, the cannabis store on um, on Wednesday before I drove up, and uh, only went through about eight bucks worth of it. I mean, you get a lot of uh, high out of a, out of um, even a pre-roll like I got at uh, Blunt, but uh, yeah, uh, it's great up here. It's I love this site. It's uh, Ne I never camped. It has nice shade, so it's cooler over here where the hammock is. But then there's lots of sun for the truck, you know. So the solar's all charging up nicely. It's been charging well. Um, yesterday I, I finally made it to Ferris Lake. Um, the trick of getting to Ferris Lake, you really gotta take a kayak and kayak to get across the East Canada Creek, and then it's like a 45-minute bushwhack. You just kind of have to uh, bushwhack around Frank's Pond, and. Um, then you kind of go up and over the ridge, and then you're at uh, Ferris Lake. I mean, it's hard to miss it. It's a big lake. It's about, you know, it's pretty. A lot, lot of loons there. It was, uh, oh, got yeah, a chipmunk there. Uh, he's just kind of exploring. But, uh, yeah, I had eggs for breakfast, just the usual. It was a stunningly beautiful morning when I first got up. You can see now, not really, there's not many clouds in the sky. A few, a few are starting to push in, but uh, it's been great. Yesterday was spectacularly beautiful up here. Uh, there's some wild blueberries, but all the ones I find are right near the campsite. I don't know if I want to grab wild blueberries or people, people or dogs have been peeing, you know. I'm going to have to look around some more this morning. But yeah, yesterday was great, except for a rain shower around 6 o'clock, and there was a brief rain shower in the morning, too. But uh, the only thing kind of sucked is I first attempt at hiking down to, um, to uh, Ferris Lake is I tried to cross the East Canada Creek uh, on foot. Up behind this campsite here is the trail that goes back to the creek, and uh, oh, the mud is just deep in there. And I tried to cross, and I was up to my knees in mud. And I was like, "Up, oh, this is not going to work." So I turned around, covered with mud and, and water, grabbed my kayak, hauled it down to the the creek, which actually I stored it down there last night. I don't know if you're really supposed to, but uh, I figured no one's going to care if we leave there overnight. I just locked it up. And that way, I'll have it there in the morning. You don't have to carry it back and forth because I mean. Uh, Pally Bridge in the East Canada Creek from here is about, oh, I don't know, half miles. That's a pretty good portage. That kayak is about 70 pounds. But, uh, yeah, stone pile here. Still some from when they rebuilt the road in uh, uh, 2020 after the uh, great flooding washed it out. Uh, campsite 11 has been removed. That was never a very good campsite. I don't know why the DEC decided to designate that as a site. It wasn't really a site. But, uh, Ten is still there, and obviously someone's at nine. Nine's the one with the two trees behind the two spruces behind the fire pit, which I usually like to camp at sometimes. So this thing is pretty nice. It's far enough up that it's been quiet. I have barely even heard them down that other side, and I haven't had to keep my noise down too much. So yeah, it's been a very lazy weekend. Uh, Friday went down to Dollarville, got ice and ice cream. Uh, uploaded some photos for at the the Dolgeville Library, which is a beautiful library, and they have a nice restroom carpeted in the bathroom, which is strange, but yeah, it's a nice place there. Um, it's been good to get away. It was good to uh, en enjoy uh, the smut cannabis, It'd just be very relaxed, floating down the river on the tube, you know, enjoying the uh, fresh air and watching the clouds. And then Independence Day, as I was saying, I spent all day uh, just floating on the river. But yeah, I gotta take things down. I will probably, the kayak's down at the East Canada Creek, I'll probably do some paddling first. 
and then I'll go up to the potholers. I mean, up tubes still inflated, so I might just be floating above the potholers, and then I might, uh, you know, cool off and get good washed up <coughs> the potholers. Then I don't know, maybe at around three or so, start heading south, get down to um, uh, Tribes Hill. I don't know about four, maybe five, and then ride from Tribes Hill uh, through. Fonda out to Karen Jahari and they poke around Fonda a little bit on my bike and then try to get home before dark and that, that'll be the Independence Weekend. It'll be a, it'll been a, quite the adventure. You know, I'm so happy I was able to check out Ferris Lake. I also got back to Goldmine Street and Falls. And uh, poke around Dolgeville is kind of interesting too. It's funny when I uh, downloaded a couple podcasts. Uh, um, in Dollageville, I get, uh, you know, advertisement that's targeted and got Dollar General ads, which I had never heard before, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting how, how things, you get different ads in different parts of the states. I mean, I know when I was out in Madison County, I get, uh, promoted, uh, a lot more ag podcasts and ag products, you know, because, you know, people who are obviously in Madison County, a lot of them are farming or have interest in farming, so, uh, yeah. But it's fun traveling. I mean, as much as I do want to settle down and eventually have that at Helmstead, I'm glad I passed on that one in Dormansville. I still have to call the real estate agent to be clear that I don't want the property. But because uh, I, mean, I did tour it and I did do some research, talk to some people. But uh, I just decided, as much as I hate renting, I think I want to keep keep up with that. I know uh, you know, and just kind of uh, travel more. And I mean, eventually I'll have a homestead like that, but I want a place where, uh, you know, I, I will have a wood stove, preferably really like to be off grid. You know, I'd like to have a lot more, you know, looser burn regulations so I can have fires and burn shit. Um, you know, and good, good gun rights, as you can see, it's an issue that I really care strongly about. And then uh, also now I think cannabis would be nice to be able to grow it. I mean, it's great now that in New York you can grow it and, uh, you know, just buy it at any old uh, dispensary, which is just like a package store in Pennsylvania for buying beer. You just go there, you, they have a listing of all the different uh, uh, things you have. You give them your, you know, you, you give them your money, you, you walk out. I don't even think I'd ID to buy cannabis, although no one's going to think I'm under 21 at this point. But, uh, yeah, um, it's great. It's been good to be away for 10 days. Um, next weekend, I don't know if I'm heading uh, out of town. If I go anywhere, it'll be scary. And then possibly the, the Friday after, I may be heading out to the Finger Lakes for nine days. Although I haven't figured out exactly which week. I gotta check which weeks the uh, track is open or the uh, uh, race track is open, and what weeks um, that are uh, <clears throat> good for work. Because I have one of the other direct, you know. As, as the director, I have to be there anytime that we don't have supervisor coverage to, to supervise the operators and run the robocalls and all that fun stuff. But yeah, um, I'm going to cut it off for eight, eight minutes now. I've been rambling on about all my problems in my life, but it's been, uh, it's been a good weekend. I enjoy traveling. I'm looking forward to getting back out in the woods. But first, I gotta, you know, have a lot of adventures today, some floating, do some paddling, do some biking, and uh, take advantage of this beautiful day. Have a great one.